Okay, uh, for making roadways and uh, other areas that you want to fill, uh, shale is an excellent material. Here I have some soft shale, this yellow brown shale. It's fantastic. Let me show you. You can see that it's pretty easy to break apart. Yeah. So, but it packs really well. Like I say, great for roadways. Uh, a lot, in fact, almost all of the uh, subsurface we have here is this harder blue shale that uh, uh, is good, but it's harder to break. It would not be economical to sell, uh, but we do use some of it. We break up some of it uh, for the top layer of our surface. Okay, here's an example of uh, a roadway that we made completely out of shale on site. I say we. It took equipment that I don't have, that I don't know how to use. So this, I paid a guy who does great work to bring out his excavator, his bulldozer, and uh, construct this roadway for us. And we'll, sh we'll see up closer, but I'll show you, most of it is made of the soft shale we were able to get, and then the top layer of that hard shale. Yeah, this is the side of the road. You can see almost all of it is a softer shale. There's even some clay mixed in, but that was just from pulling it off of there. And then just the top, you know, half foot uh, 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 level is the hard shale. Now, when the road was first constructed, it was all, uh, the top layer was all big pieces like this that, that you see here but it didn't take a lot of uh, driving on it and weathering to where it kind of progressively became more and more broken up, you know, from the bigger pieces you see uh, to smaller and smaller and smaller. And then finally, almost like, uh, like a paved road, uh, which is great. Uh, you see that, uh, that it's very smooth, except for, of course, the bumps of certain rocks that were uh, harder in there. Um, but when it gets to this state uh, that you see here, it can, uh, it's nice and gritty, but I'll show you that some of the, uh, uh, on the softer spots, it can work into the tread. Okay, eventually with enough traffic and uh, rain, uh, the shale will be ground down to this kind of consistency and uh, I don't know if you can see this, but it's uh, kind of gritty. So it's not terrible for uh, traction, but you can imagine uh, this kind of muddy grittiness uh, gets into the tread of the vehicles. And then if they're on any kind of slope later on, they're gonna spin their wheels. So uh, once it's in this state uh, and probably before, you wanna go ahead and put down uh, some hard rock in a very thin layer, not even a complete layer, to, uh, to work into it uh, for traction and so that this, again, doesn't uh, clog up vehicles' treads. Once that hard shale is ground down into that fine grit, the last step, and then you'll be done, is to come over and put a layer, and it doesn't even have to be this, uh, you know, this thick of uh, harder rock, you know, limestone rock or something, and then you drive over it and at first it's a little bit bumpy. You can see some I haven't driven over. Uh, and in no time, it'll push it down into that gritty shale. And then, then you're done. You've got a well-packed road that's not soft, that any kind of vehicle can go over. And you have a surface that their tires can grip uh, as they climb. 